everybody, and thanks for watching. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, the job interview. Now, I have been interviewing my entire adult life as a crime writer and investigative reporter for a major newspaper in Texas, as an executive recruiter working on projects from a 12-bed hospital in southwest Texas to a major medical center in New York and in Washington, D.C., for example. So I've interviewed hundreds and hundreds of people in my career. You know, the job interview is probably one of the most important elements of the job search process, and yet it is one of the, the elements that is most frequently taken for granted. People show up, and they are ready to answer questions, but they're not ready to pivot and sell themselves. Have you ever wondered why someone who was really qualified was eliminated from a job search, and the person who ended up getting the job was perhaps not as qualified, certainly competent, but not quite as good as the first person? Well, it probably turned on the job interview. That second person probably did a better job communicating their value, helping the client understand how their experience and how their successes would benefit their new organization. You know, there's three things you can do to kind of mitigate some of the challenges people face in interviews. And believe me, most people are challenged by the interview process. First of all, you start off by understanding your value. My old colleague Nancy Swain defined it as the value proposition. It's a concept she developed years ago and was very successful in helping numerous executives pilot their careers. It is now the value brand statement, and it is essentially the same thing. Understanding your four or five key strengths in a statement about your value and use that to control your messaging. Now, the second thing you have to do in developing your resume is keep that value brand statement in mind. That's very, very important. And then customize your resume to communicate your value to the prospective client that you're applying to. If you're sending a generic resume, you're not really helping yourself any. So look at that resume before you hit the send button if you're applying online or you're sending it to a recruiter. And ask yourself, does this resume really communicate my value for that specific job? And if it doesn't, customize. And the third thing you need to do is you need to be sure that your answers are not just about giving information, but about selling your values. If you're asking information that requires facts and figures, okay, give facts and figures. But a lot of the behavior and values questions you get today really allow you to pivot and sell your ability to help the client. And that takes a lot of practice. A lot of people show up in interviews and they know about the client, but they're not ready to really sell themselves with really killer answers. So if you do these three things, you'll do better in the job interview process. If you have any questions, I hope you'll reach out to me at careertransitions at johngself.com. We'll be back with more information in another video, but thanks for watching today.